calm before the storm here as high level clouds continue to thicken up. There's the cloud cover and the snow just now getting into the northwestern tip of the state. Right here, clouds are thickening up as I mentioned before. And as a result of this inbound storm system, it's going to get a little bit stronger as it moves into the mid part of the state. Winter weather advisories have been posted for pretty much everybody in mid-Missouri for tonight and a good chunk of tomorrow. We're looking at not an impressive amount of snow, one, two, three, maybe up to four inches in some areas, but the blowing snow could be a bit of an issue. Now, this is what our computer models are suggesting for tonight into tomorrow. I stopped the model at 3.30. That's when most of the accumulating snow will be out of here. That's 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. One, two, maybe three inches in some locations. Some spots could pick up close to four inches. So there's the capital, Columbia, about two inches, probably an inch, maybe two at the lake, and two, three inches, Moberly, Mexico, Fulton, Montgomery City, those areas. So don't be surprised if you can see up to four inches. And some areas may only get a dusting, but the snow will be blowing around tomorrow. So that'll make it a bit treacherous to be traveling on the area roads. There's our live pyramid pharmacy camera in the capital city. Those clouds are the first signs of our inbound storm system. It's 54, fair skies, dew points still low, winds out of the northwest, but they're light at 6, pressure at 29.59, and it continues to rise, actually, despite the fact that this storm is coming in. 51 in Columbia, northwest breeze at 7, and the pressure rising there as well. 50 St. Louis, 48 Farmington, but look at the 30s we already have in Kansas City, St. Joe, Chillicothe, northwesterly winds starting to pick up here. Very gusty, sustained 20, 30 miles per hour across the northwestern corner of the state. That's going to push in some very cold Arctic air. Look at these teens and 20s. These are the daytime temperatures into the upper plains. So that's what's coming our way. This nudge or this uh, nub, nub of warm air off to our south and east will continue to push away from here. You can see there's that snow to our north and west. That's moving in our area. Future cast putting the snow in our area after 9, 10 o'clock. So by 11 o'clock to about midnight, we may see a few rain drops mix in with the snow, but it'll turn to all snow after midnight and it could be light to moderate till about four or five in the morning. Still some light snow, seven, eight in the morning and even some flurries and snow showers throughout the day tomorrow. Temperatures only in the 20s. In fact, our high temperatures may be early in the day tomorrow and then we'll see more chilly weather heading into Friday, but at least we will be dry by the time we get to Friday. 23 tonight, most of the snow in the capital city will start falling after 10, 11 o'clock. And again, a little bit of rain may mix in. We're forecasting one to two inches for the capital. 26 tomorrow, and we may pile on another half an inch tomorrow, up to an inch more. So storm totals could be close to three inches. 22 tonight in Columbia, same story after 9, 10 o'clock, we'll see the snow developing. 24 tomorrow, so not much temperature change, and it's going to be a blustery gray Thursday around here. There's your 26 Thursday, Friday 30 degrees, 40s are back for the weekend, and we will melt off the snow pretty quickly this weekend. Another storm comes in here Monday. Still some questions about what's going to happen with that. We'll probably see a mix of rain or snow with that system. Tuesday, Wednesday, things will cool off once again. So again, snow totals one, two, maybe up to three inches. Some spots four inches for overnight tonight. Could be enough to